Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, When a man is ready for a relationship, he will do these five things. Right, ladies? So, if a man is indeed ready for what you ready for, right? And he wants the same thing that you want. You know, he wants a girlfriend, fiance, and wife. You want a boyfriend, fiance, husband, right? So, you want the same thing, the same outcome. But a lot of guys that you may run into... They may not be ready for a relationship, right? They might tell you out their mouth, I'm not ready for a relationship. Or they might show you, I'm not ready for a relationship. You know, based off of their actions. You know, maybe he, you know, disrespecting you. Maybe he lying to you. Maybe he's still, you know, out here in the streets dealing with a whole bunch of women. Maybe he just neglect you and your needs. He don't listen to you. He don't care nothing about you. So a lot of times you know when a man don't care nothing about you. You know when a man not ready for a relationship. You know when a man don't want you, right? You know, you get the idea over time. If you don't figure it out in the beginning, over time, you will figure out he don't want you, right? Because he told you, I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not looking for nothing serious. I don't believe in marriage. I don't believe in monogamy. I don't believe in being with one woman or I don't want to settle down right now. I still got some things to do in life. I don't want to settle down right now, right? So if he tell you he not ready, then you need to believe him for what he say when he say he not ready. Or he might say, you know, I am ready, right? He say he ready. But he did not say he ready with you. You know the with you part is silent. So maybe he ready for a relationship. He ready for a marriage. But you just not that woman that he want to be with. You know, and again, he will show you and tell you that you are not the one. You will figure that out. 
you know, based off his actions. So a man will tell you and show you that he's not ready for you. So what you got to do is you got to, you know, go for the guys that's ready for what you ready for. Pay attention to the men that actually want something serious with you. That actually want to be with one woman. That actually want to be with you and want to commit. Not just, oh, I'll take a woman that I really want, you know, and I'm going to just keep you on the sidelines, or I'm going to just keep you, you know, in the background, on the back burner. I'm going to put you on the bench. I'm going to put you on layaway. I'm going to save you for later and waste your time and take everything from you and use you until I get the woman I want. Nah, you are the woman that he want, right? So get you a man that wants you and not just what you have to offer, not just for sex, not just for your money, not just for your cooking, not just for your cleaning, not just, you know, because he lonely or whatever. You want a man that's ready for, you know, something serious. You want a man that's done with the games. He done playing games. He a grown man. He done wasting time. He's very intentional, right? A man that's ready for a relationship he intentional. He know what he want. He know what he deserve. And he going to go straight after it. He don't have no time to waste. If a man is over here wasting your time, what does that tell you? He got time to waste too. So he not serious about his own life. That's why he wasting your time because he not serious. So a lot of times you just have to pay attention to, you know, the good men that actually want something real. Pay attention to a man's actions and not just his words. Because sometimes, like I said, a man will tell you he ready, but his actions show you otherwise. His actions show you that he ain't as ready as you thought he was or he think he is, right? So ladies, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this video, right? And I'm going to give you my top five things. Yes, five things that men will do that are clear indicators that he is, in fact, ready for a relationship. He ready for a marriage. He ready to settle down. This is how you can tell if a man is for real and he ready to settle down and he not playing no games, okay? So we're going to jump right into it. We're going number one. So number one, the first thing thing that men will do that shows you that they are indeed in fact ready for a relationship number one is he makes plans for the future so if a man makes plans for the future right then a lot of times you know that he's serious a man who's not serious about you a man that's not serious about you at all Guess what happens? If he not serious about you, then he will not make no type of plans with you or for you. He ain't doing nothing with you. Every time you bring up, you know, the future, you bring up marriage, you bring up, you know, having babies, you bring up, you know, living together, you bring up, you know, commingling, you know, funds together, you know, you talking about, you know, getting the house together, moving in together, you know, you talking about, you know, things that you want to do, you know, in the future or with him. And every time you bring up something as far as the future or y'all being together or y'all being exclusive or you two, you know, actually getting married or starting a family or something. And then you look over and this man got a whole attitude or you look over and this man disregard everything you say. He don't even want to hear it. Stop bringing that up. I don't care nothing about that. You know, we'll think about that later. We'll talk about that later. I don't want to talk about it right now. You talking about having babies, having kids? You talking about getting married and stuff? Oh, can we just focus on what we doing right now? I don't want to think about all that. We got time for that. Let's just focus on what we doing right now. Let's go with the flow, right? That is a trick. That's a trap. When he says, let's go with the flow, guess what? You going to be flowing all right. Y'all going to be flowing forever. <laughs> it ain't never. That current never going to stop. It's always going to keep flowing. You're going to keep going with the flow forever because he's stringing you along. He's playing with your emotions. He's playing with your heart. 
He is literally robbing you and taking everything from you. He using you and draining you of all your resources and all your energy until he actually get the woman that he want. Or maybe he don't want no woman, right? But you got to pay attention to a man when, you know, you bringing up future plans. Watch his face. If he not too hype or he not too excited or he could really care less. He don't really care nothing about the future, care nothing about future plans. He don't even want to talk about it. If he don't want to talk about no future plans with you, you know he not ready. But if a man is ready for you and he's for real, you know, majority of the time he will tell you, you know, I, I'm ready for marriage. I'm looking, you know, let's go ring shopping, right? Let's go ring shopping. What type of, what type of rings do you like? You know, you know, or this man, he just brings up, you know, future plans with you, what he want to do. He want to marry you. You know, the details. Do you want a big wedding? Do you want a small wedding? You know, do you want a more intimate wedding? You know, do you want to have a wedding in the backyard? Or do you want to have a wedding in a nice venue? What do you want our honeymoon to be? How should we govern our household? How do we discipline the kids? You know, if we have kids together, how will we discipline the kids? You know what I'm saying? What's, you know, you looking for future plans. You know what I'm saying? And not just, you know, future plans as far as what y'all doing together, but future plans as far as what he want out of life, right? If you are talking to a man and he don't have no dreams, no goals, no aspirations in life, he don't want to do nothing with his life, he don't care nothing about nothing and stuff like that. He don't have no plans on his own life. Then he will never have plans for you. And he don't have plans in his own life. Then he will never have plans for you. A man will never have any plans for you. Any plans on getting married. If he don't even know where he going in life. He don't even know, you know, what he want. A man who is intentional. A man who knows what he wants. And guess what? Men already know what they want from the jump. From the first time he saw you, he already classified you and said, this man categorized you in three categories, right? You know, the friend category, which you know, which you know, he might just use you for networking or use you for, you know, whatever, you know, just for friendship. You know what I'm saying? But if it's... You know what I'm saying? If he's not sexually attracted to you, then you fall in the friend category. If a man is not sexually attracted to you and you just cool, then yeah, you could be his friend. And you know, he might just have you for, you know, somebody to kick it with, somebody just to talk to. You know, it's nothing like that. But majority of the time, you fall in the other two categories, right? The other two categories are, you know, a friends with benefits, a situationship, or you fall in the wife, girlfriend category, right? So it's friends, friends with benefits, then the girlfriend, wife category. So you are in one of those three. As soon as a man see you or he get to talking to you, you know, he already classified you where he want to put you with. A lot of times, just based off of your looks and appearance, you already go in one of those categories, right? You either are friends friends with benefits or a girlfriend or wife, depending on what you look like, how you carry yourself, you know, all of that, right? And then once he gets to know you and stuff like that, then he say, oh, this girl real cool. I can see myself with her. You know, usually within the first three months, a man already knows what he want to do with you. It, within the first three to six months, he already made up his mind. Between the first three to six months, a man already know what he want to do with you. He know if he going to play with you and string you along, or he know if he ready to settle down and he actually wants to plan a future with you. He actually wants to make future plans and, you know, accommodate for that, you know, and prepare for that. And he's courting and betting. But if he just want to waste his time, if he's not serious, he not even going to be looking at nothing serious, nothing in the future. You know, he not intentional. He just don't care. He don't even care about his own life. He don't have no plans for his own life. So how he going to have plans for you, plans for y'all, plans for us? 
you know if he don't have plans for himself you know so get you a guy that is excited to date you get you a guy that's actively pursuing you and courting and vetting you to be a wife get you a guy that actually makes plans with you and don't get mad or don't get upset or he just you know disregard your feelings or, or what you want to do he don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about the future. I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about something else, right? Because he don't like you. He don't want to talk to you, okay? So that's number one, right? That's number one. So number two, the second thing that men will do when they are serious about dating you, serious about a relationship, they want a marriage, they want what you want, and they for real, they ready to settle down. Number two is... He is healed from his past traumas, right? You need to get you a man that's healed. Get you a man that's mature, right? You do not want a broken man and you do not want an insecure man. Those are the worst men to deal with. An insecure, controlling man and men that have not healed yet. Because guess what? Men who ain't healed yet are going to be very toxic. A lot of those toxic traits will come up later on because he not healed. He not ready for no relationship. You know, a lot of times based off his childhood or based off his past. Let's talk about his childhood. Maybe he never had a father figure to teach him how to be a man. You know, he don't, he don't have no, you know, male figure, male role model in his life. So he don't even know what he doing, right? Let alone know how to love a woman. How you gonna love a woman? You ain't never seen a man love a woman. He ain't never seen his father love on his mother. His father wasn't there or his father was absent or his father just whatever, you know? So he never got to see a man, you know, love on a woman properly. He never got to see that, right? Or he's just you know, going through life and he had to grow up fast. He had to be the man of the house. His daddy wasn't there. His mama was at work all day. So he grew up by himself raising his siblings or he grew up by himself, you know, trying to, you know, try to survive. He grew up on survival. A lot of y'all women don't realize that a lot of men that you date, they didn't grow up on love. You ask yourself, why this man don't love me? Why every time I try to love this man, he push me away? Why every time I try to get closer to this man, he push me away? Why every time I want this man closer to me, he push me away? He push you away because that love, that healthy love that you trying to give him, he don't know how to receive that healthy love because all he got was toxic love. All he got was tough love. It's some men grew up on tough love. Suck it up and be a man. You know, tough love. You the man of the house. So now you got to have responsibilities at a young age. So he ain't have time to really develop his emotions and be lovey-dovey and be, you know, empathetic, be sympathetic. You know, he don't know how to really, he don't know how to really just you know, communicate with his feelings. He don't know how to, you know, just communicate overall, you know, or maybe this man got a bad relationship with his mama. Yo mama is the number, yo mama is the first woman that you come in contact with. Yo mama is the first woman that, you know, you actually have a bond with. So guess what? If he have a bad relationship with his mama, you know, a lot of times he gonna have bad relationships with all women because that was his first example of a woman. So now he treat all women the same way he treat his mama or he dislike women altogether, you know, just based off of not just his mama or, you know, maybe his sisters or somebody, but sometimes his ex-girlfriends, you know, maybe his ex-girlfriends or you know what? Maybe that girl in the third grade. That girl in the third grade broke his heart. That girl in the third grade that, you know, did not eat at the lunch table with him. 
and she sat with another little boy at the lunch table and he was by himself, he ain't recovered from that. You know, that girl in the third grade that he really, really liked and he wanted to play with her at recess on the playground and she ain't want to play with him, but she went to go play with another boy. He ain't like that, you know? So growing up, this man, he got his heart broken by the girl in the third grade that broke his heart. She played, you know, on the playground with another guy and he got upset and he ain't never recovered. He said, all oh, women are dogs. How can women, you know, do this to me? How can a woman break my heart at such a young age? I ain't never recovered from that. That taught me at an early age not to trust women. So I don't trust no woman because of what, Melissa did in the third grade. I don't like Melissa because what she did in third grade. So now every woman got to pay for what Melissa did in third grade, right? Or, you know, the ex-girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe he had an ex-girlfriend for a few years or he had an ex-wife. Sometimes a man had an ex-wife or ex-girlfriend that he was dealing with, you know, and she broke his heart. She cheated on this man. She dogged him out. She kicked him to the curb, took all his money, you know, left him high and dry. You know, she used him and you know what I'm saying? She cheated, messed around with a whole bunch of men on him. You know, really just broke his heart, broke his self-esteem. You know, made him feel like he was less of a man. Made him feel like he was not worthy. He's so damaged and so heartbroken he has not healed or recovered from that incident with his ex-girlfriend or ex-wife that cheated on him or dogged him out or lied to him or whatever that left him. You know, maybe she just left him, you know, and he just heartbroken and he got abandonment issues because he got left now. You know, maybe he already had abandonment issues before, you know, because of his daddy was never there. Maybe his mama was never there. So he already had abandonment issues, right? And then on top of that, when, you know, his ex-girlfriend or the girl in the third grade that did not like him, you know, he has not healed from that. Now he want to take it out on every other woman in the world that he come in contact with. So now every woman got to pay because my ex-girlfriend cheated on me. My, my ex-wife cheated on me. So now every other woman got to pay. I don't trust women now because of what she did. That one woman broke my heart. I don't trust no woman now. I don't trust nobody now. I don't trust you. So now that he get in a relationship with you, guess what? He don't trust you. He don't trust you because he feel like you gonna dog him out the same way the other girl in the third grade dogged him out. Or the other girl, which was his ex-girlfriend, his ex-wife, cheated on him, dogged him out. He think you gonna do the same thing or he think all women are just trash and he ain't never recovered from that. So now he take everything out on you and you don't deserve that. This man, he always accusing you of stuff. Oh, I know you going out with some guy. Oh, let me go through your phone. Let me go through your phone. I know it's a man in there. I know you talking to somebody else. I know, I know you doing something. You know, let me get your location to your phone. Let me track you down to see where you going. You know, let me call you all day long. Make sure you are where you say you going to be. Let me make sure, let me micromanage you. Let me have you on surveillance camera <laughs> so I can make sure you are treating me the way that I'm supposed to be treated or you are doing what you're supposed to do, you know? So he trying to babysit you because he's scared that you going to hurt him the same way how them other girls hurt him. So now he real cautious. He real scared. He's scared of getting hurt. Scared of getting rejected, scared of getting left, scared of getting played, you know? Or sometimes, you know, he pushed you away. He pushed you away because that love you try to give him is foreign. He's used to toxic love. He grew up on yelling and screaming. He didn't grow up on hugs and kisses. He grew up on chaos, toxic, chaos, you know? 
He grew up on loud, aggressive, angry, you know, neglectful. But you grew up on love, peace, and happiness. You know what I'm saying? So already, y'all are on an imbalanced plane right now. Y'all are not on the same, you know, page. Y'all not seeing eye to eye right now. Because he grew up one way, and based off of what he went through, he has not healed yet. He ain't recovered from the women that dogged him out. He ain't recovered from his daddy issues, his mama issues. He ain't recovered from maybe even financial issues, right? Some men, you know, actually pretty much every man, your self-esteem as a man is directly tied to your income. Your financial stability level is directly tied to how you feel about yourself. So a lot of guys, when they are not financially stable, how can I think about trying to marry you if I ain't got no money or I'm not where I want to be in life? You know how much a wedding ring costs? You know, a lot of women may, you may tell this man, hey, you know, why you don't marry me? Why you don't marry me? He don't want to marry me. He don't want to marry me. Some guys, they actually do want to marry you, but they just can't right now because guess what? Marriage cost. You do know that, right? You do know how much marriages cost, right? Let's see, how much does a wedding ring cost? How much would y'all women say a wedding ring should cost? You know, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty. How much should a wedding ring cost? You know? And then how much should a wedding cost? It's a lot of couples that go into debt behind a wedding, you know, thirty thousand dollars. $50,000, $100,000 worth of, you know, wedding stuff. You know, you got to pay for the venue. You got to pay for all your outfits and dresses and tux, tuxedos. And you got to pay for, you know, the food. You got to pay for the decorations. You got to pay for, you know, a live DJ. You got to pay for, you got to pay for a lot of stuff in a wedding. So he automatically thinking when you say marriage and marriage come out your mouth, he automatically calculating, dang, how much money is that going to be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it may not be the fact that he don't want to marry you. It's just the fact that where he at right now, he know he can't give you what you deserve. Where he at right now, he know he not on that level to really give you what he really want. Right? And... That makes him even more insecure, the fact that he's not where he want to be and he want to provide you with the life that you deserve, but he can't do it for you. And the fact that he can't do it for you makes him feel like he's less of a man because of his financial stability. And he might be financially stable, but he's not exactly where he want to be. You know, he might, you know, have a car, have a job, you know, have a place to stay. You know, he got a little money. That's cool. But, you know, maybe for the lifestyle that you want or maybe for, you know, the the whole family, you know, dynamic, he know, okay, if I'm talking about marriage, a wedding ring, I got to get her a house now, you know, when we when we get married, you probably go want a house now, let me get a house now, dang, you probably want a new car now, then you going to want some kids, how much them kids cost, how much that car cost, how much that house cost. How much the wedding cost? All the man thinking about is money, money, money <laughs> that I got to spend. You as a woman, you thinking, oh, I want a big house. Oh, I want a nice wedding. Oh, I want a nice wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy to say when the pressure not on you, but when the pressure is on the man to have to come up with all this stuff and he know you are depending on him or maybe his kids, y'all kids together, or dependent on him, then it's a lot of pressure on him that he might not be ready for. So he's insecure right now based off his financial stability level. So he might not be ready to, you know, be with you right now just because his money not right. You know, he wants you and yeah, y'all in a relationship, but maybe you want marriage. Maybe you want the next step. Maybe he, maybe you want something more, but he know I can't give you like that. Like I can take you out. We can go on a few dates. We can hang out. 
you know, I might be able to help you out with a bill or two, or I might be able to, you know, you know, maybe we can hang out, go on a trip here and there. But you're talking about getting a whole house, getting a, having a wedding, getting a wedding ring, having kids. You want a new car. You want your hair done, nails done. You want, you want new outfits, new shoes, new bags. You want all this stuff from me as a man. And guess what? That's a lot of pressure. Guess what? He might not be where he want to be at to be able to provide all of that. Maybe he can provide a little bit, but all of that that you want, you know, he might not be ready for. So maybe it's not a never, it's just a not right now until I can get my money up. When I get my money up, I can give you what you want and then I won't be insecure. Because a lot of times when a man is not financially stable and you date a man that's really not, like I'm talking about a broke man, not just a man that's just, you know, you know, average. I'm talking about a broke man. He ain't got no car. He ain't got no income. He ain't got no place to stay. You know, he's staying with his mama. He ain't got no car. He don't really got no job for real. You know, so those types of men don't get with those men because they definitely not ready for a relationship. They can't even take care of themselves. So how are they going to take care of you if they can't take care of themselves? How is this man going to take care of you if he can't take care of his own self? So you need a man that's at least financially stable or, you know, above average to be able to afford the life that you may or may not want. So you got to take that into consideration that, let's be real, that costs a lot of money. Everything I just named, that do cost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. All that, a house alone is hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, the car, thousands of dollars. You know, the wedding, the wedding ring. You know, everything costs. So he might not be ready right now. You know what I'm saying? Because because of his finances. So get you a man that's financially stable and get you a man that's healed from his past traumas. Healed from his abandonment issues. Healed from his attachment issues. Healed from his, you know, insecurities. Healed from all the women that dogged him out. He healed from everything and he's ready to, you know, move on with his life. And he's a complete human being and he loves himself. A lot of these guys don't love themselves. You need to get you a man that loves himself so he can properly love you. A lot of times you date a man that he don't even love himself. You date a man, he didn't went to jail or he in jail. He don't care nothing about himself or his own freedom. Are you dating a man that he don't do nothing in life? He just sit on the couch, he smoke, he drink, he play video games all day. He don't have no purpose in life. You know what I'm saying? And when you date this man, you're going to be real upset when he has nothing to offer you or, you know, a lot of his insecurities come out. So get you a man that's healed and financially secure, all right? Because when a man is healed and he not tripping over, you know, the exes and, and his mama and his daddy and, you know, his brothers and sisters and what happened to him in his past, what happened to him in his childhood, when he healed from that and he's able to love himself, now he can love you, okay? So that's number two. So number three. The third thing that men will do to indicate that they are indeed, in fact, ready for a relationship or ready for a marriage, number three is he knows how to control his emotions. Now, let's get more in depth with, you know, his healing journey, right? When a man is healed, he knows how to control his emotions. When a man is healed and he knows himself, he loves himself, he has something to actually live for, he thinks twice before making certain, you know, actions. This man is very calculated with his moves. He's very controlled with his emotions. He don't get super overly mad, throwing temper tantrums. You know, he on his chest like this, like a gorilla, and he just so furious, he gets so mad, and he just want to flip tables over and, and put holes in the wall and all that. That's a toxic man that don't know how to control his emotions. Because guess what? It ain't going to be that wall next time. Next time he get real violent, 
it's going to be towards you and not just towards objects because he don't know how to control his emotions. You know, he was never put in his place as a kid. He was never set straight. He never had no discipline, right? And you could tell a lot of kids look at a little kid. When a little kid don't have no discipline, what they do? They throw temper tantrums. They scream, they yell, they throw stuff, they cross their arms and get mad. And, you know, they throw a whole fit. You know what I'm saying? They throw a whole fit. They get so angry because they are, un because they are not disciplined children. And undisciplined children turn into undisciplined men, right? Children who are not disciplined turn into adult men. Little boys who are not disciplined turn into grown men who are not disciplined. So now you see an adult temper tantrum. Now he getting mad and the same, you know, getting all upset and throwing a fit because he don't know how to control his emotions or is or ain't nobody ever disciplined him. Nobody never set him straight to put him on the right path to control his anger. He feel like the right way is to get mad and I'm going to have my way. And if I don't have my way, I'm mad. It is my way or the highway. That's not healthy, you know, or, you know, even worse. This or on the on the flip side, this man, he shut down. He shut all the way down. He shut down. You know, when you have a conflict, when you have, you know, an issue with him, he shut down. I don't want to talk. I'm not talking to you. I don't want to talk about it. I don't care about it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not arguing with you. I don't care. You know, he don't even want to talk and work it out. He don't even want to talk about it. He just shut down, disregard, cold shoulder. Don't talk to me. I don't care. I'm mad. Don't talk to me. He shut down. And you trying to, you know, reason with him and you want to communicate, but he got bad communication skills. So you know a man is ready for a relationship when he got good communication skills and not bad. When he got bad communication skills, he not going to know how to talk to you. When it's a problem, he don't know how to express you know, how he feeling in a healthy way. He gonna get mad or, or run out the house and storm off and all that, you know? Or, you know, I'm asleep in the next room. I don't wanna talk to you. Or don't talk to me. He just ignoring you. It is all this extra childish stuff is real childish. A man who is ready for a relationship, he's not gonna be childish like that. He's emotionally mature. Let's talk about what's going on. So how did that make you feel? Okay, I heard you out. Now let me tell you how it made me feel. Okay, now what can we do now that we heard each other's story out? We heard each other's side. What can we do to fix this? You know, that's a healthy way of resolving a problem instead of I'm right, you wrong. I'm right, I'm right, you wrong, you wrong, you wrong. Don't talk to me because you wrong. I, uh, you wrong, you know, like a narcissistic man, like he's very narcissistic, is my way or the highway, you know, or, you know, he never take your feelings into consideration, it's always about me, 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 how I feel, what I want to do, me, 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 and he don't know how to control or, and he don't know how to, you know, be compassionate, he don't know how to, you know, he don't know how to compromise in a relationship, it's always about him, him, him. So get you a man that has good communication skills, that actually talks things out, that actually, you know, wants to work out problems. Because guess what? It's going to be problems in y'all relationship, in y'all marriage. Y'all two different people. Two different people cannot get along 100% of the time. It's going to be at least one thing that y'all disagree on. It's going to be one thing that y'all don't see eye to eye on. Y'all two different people that grew up two different ways. So make sure that he's emotionally stable. So he's not, you know, crazy and he not, you know, throwing temper tantrums and putting hands on you and cussing you out and calling you out your name. And he's so mad and so disrespectful. And, you know, you don't need a man like that. You need a man that's cool, calm and collected. Baby, tell me what's on your mind. How can I fix this? What can I do to make it better? What can I do to fix this? Okay, you came to me with a problem. What can we do to resolve this? What can I do to fix it? Okay, so get you a good communicator, right? A man who is a good communicator, 
that's a good man for you. And he ready for a relationship because he's emotionally mature. An emotionally mature man, if he won't be insecure. A lot of these insecure guys, they insecure and they feel like, I don't deserve to be with you. You deserve better than me. Or they feel like, hey, you better not go nowhere and I want to control you. You better not wear that. Don't wear that out the house. You better be in this house at this time. You better say this and do that. He acting like he your daddy. You know, you better not do this. You better not, you know. So he try to control your every move because he insecure that you might leave him one day, right? It's something within himself. So get you a man that's emotionally intelligent and that's, and that's secure within himself so he's able to properly communicate with you, okay? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth thing that men do to show you that they ready for a relationship or marriage, number four is he will invest into you and he will chase you. If a man wants you, he gonna go after you, point blank period. If he wants you, he will call you. If he wants you, he'll text you. If he wants you, he'll come see you. If he wants you, he'll take you out. If he wants you, he will chase you. He will pursue you. He will go after you. He will be in your face. Hey, woman, you see me? I want you. You see me? Hey, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to show you I'm a good man. I'm trying to show you I'm a provider. I'm trying to show you I'm a good leader. I'm trying to show you you can count on me. So, you know, he going to be trying to prove himself to you. If a man don't prove himself to you, or a man doesn't actively invest into you his time and not just his time, but his money, time and money. He got to spend money on you. If a man like you, he don't have no problem coming out his wallet for you. He don't have no problem with paying for stuff, doing stuff for you, taking you out, buying you gifts because he want to put a smile on your face. He want to make you happy. He want to show you that, you know, I'm a good man for you. He wants to just, he, making you happy makes him happy. You know, seeing a smile on your face puts a smile on his face. So he just doing it because he care about you. And he just want to show you that he's, you know, trustworthy, right? But if a man feel like, hey, I'm not going to prove myself to no woman. I'm not going to, I'm the prize. I'm the man. I'm the prize. I'm not going to prove myself to no woman. She need to come to me. The woman need to call me. The woman need to text me first. The woman need to come see me. The woman need to spend her money on me. I'm not doing none of that stuff. She better come to me. Those types of men are men you need to leave out there in the streets. But a lot of these guys, they don't want to invest. They either don't want to invest because A, they ain't got no money or no time or nothing to invest into you. Or B, they don't think that you're worth the investment. Either way it go, if he's not investing time into you, calling you, texting you, pursuing you, being consistent with you, trying to get to know you, wanting to take you out, wanting to see you, if you catch yourself doing all the work chasing this man, he don't like you. He's not ready for a relationship, you know, because he want to be chased. A man who want to be chased, he's not ready for a relationship. He ready for a chaser. He ready for a dummy. He ready for somebody to come over and give me booty when I want it, cook and clean my house, and do whatever I need her to do, and that's it. And he ain't finna do nothing and pour back into you. So get you a man that invests time and money into you. If he wanted to, he would have called you by now. If he wanted to take you out, he would already spent money on you. If a man wants you, even if he broke, I'm gonna tell you something about even a broke man. You could take the brokest of men in the world and he will still find something to give to a woman that he really like. I'm going to say that again. If a man could be broke, zero dollars in his bank account, he will still come up with something, find something to give to his woman to show her that he cares. Even if he don't have nothing, he'll figure out something. He'll make something. He'll do something. He'll do something, put in effort. Sometimes it's not even about the money. Sometimes it's about the effort. You know, sometimes it's not about what he gave to you and how much it costed. 
Sometimes it's the effort and the thought and the time that he took into doing something to present to you, right? So that's number four. Get you a man that's all over your body. Get you a man that wants you. I got to have you. I need you now. What's up, girl? I'm in your face. How you doing? You know, I'm looking for a wife. I'm looking for something serious. You know, let's, let's date. Let me take you out. Let me get to know you. You know, and he really trying to get to know you outside of sex. If he only talk about sex, then he not real. If he only talk about sex, then he not ready for a relationship. He only ready for sex. So get you a man that wants to get in your mind and not just in between your legs. Okay, so that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final way how you can tell if a man is ready for a relationship or marriage. Number five is if this man cuts off all the other women for you. So if this man cut off all the chicken heads for you, all the hoochie mamas for you, all the hood rats for you, then he's serious because you're the only woman that he talking to. You're the only woman he dating, the only woman he pursuing, the only woman he having sex with, the only woman that's on his mind. He ain't even thinking about no other girls. He only focused on you. So he got with you, he cut off the other girls. He cut off Britney. He cut off Keisha. He cut off Sarah. He cut off Jasmine. He cut off everybody. He cut off all them girls. He ain't care nothing about Melissa and them. Melissa and them, y'all can go. Bye. You know, he don't care nothing about Brenda. Bye, Brenda. I don't care nothing about you, Brenda. You know, he want you. He don't want Sophia and he don't want, you know, Lauren and them. I don't care about Lauren and them. I want my woman, right? So he won't you. He not out here texting no other woman. He not out here calling and talking to other women. He not out here hiding his phone, being suspicious. He not out here spending money on girls. He not out here having sex with multiple women. He not out here DMing multiple women. He not out here liking every girl picture back to back to back to back to back. Like that, all thirsty. He not commenting under every girl picture, all thirsty, right? He not doing none of that. He is not thirsty. He not trying to get women's attention. He don't need women's attention or validation to make him feel complete as a man. He don't need that. He already feel complete as a man with or without women. But he got you and that's all he need. You know, he, he fulfilled within himself. And then you give him that extra boost of fulfillment. So he don't need nothing else. But a man who is empty on the inside or a man that he needs more or he's greedy or he just don't know what he want to do or he still just want to hang out, have fun, then guess what? He will be messing with other girls. He going to cheat on you or he going to entertain other women. If y'all not together, he'll just entertain other women. Or if y'all are together and you looking for a marriage, then this man cheating on you, you already know he not ready for a relationship because he still got these other chicken heads in the picture. He ain't left them hood rats alone. He need to leave the hoochie mamas alone and be with a real woman like yourself that actually wants to, you know, build with him and grow old with him and actually have a future with him, right? A good woman, not the chicken heads on the street. You know, he done. He put his player card down. He done being out here in these streets. He done ripping and running. He done being in all these girls' faces. He don't care about that. He don't He don't even want the sex. He get the sex from you. You know what I'm saying? And he get the fulfillment from himself. And he get the love from himself. He get the love from God. He don't need nobody else to make him feel validated, right? So get you a man that's faithful to you, focus on you and only you, and he ain't worried about no other women. And guess what? That's how you know he ready for a relationship. He ready for a marriage. He ain't worried about no other women. He only want you, okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five things that men do to show you that they are serious about you and ready for a relationship. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.